Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is James. Today we're gonna to talk about building a Monero mining rig for under $500. Now also, if you're mining something like Electronium, definitely stay tuned because they use the same algorithm. So this rig will also work for that currency as well. There's a few others that are based around this, but one thing to look out for is the Kryptonite algorithm. If your currency uses that, then this rig will also work for that. And I think it's gonna suit you guys really well. So the name of the game with this system is price, performance, and efficiency. The price is a little under $500. I think it's $491 with tax. Uh, and that includes a graphics card, motherboard, CPU, RAM, a few cables that you need, power supply, and a hard drive. You don't need a case. You can just kind of set it up on top of the box that the motherboard comes in. And that's really all that you need to get going. It's very simple. And the main reason about keeping the price low is that you want a quick return on investment time, which is the time that it takes to make back the money that you put in. So if you put in $500, your return on investment time would be how long the rig takes to make that $500 back because then after that point, you are making pure profitability. And that means that all the money coming in is going straight into your pocket instead of paying back what you spent before. And the last thing I wanna talk about is efficiency because it's very important to have a rig that doesn't use a lot of electricity because you are paying for that electricity every month on that bill. So you want a graphics card that doesn't hog a lot of power. You want a power supply that kind of doesn't take any extra power to power your computer. And you want uh, just a processor that doesn't really gulp power, it kind of sips it very lightly. So that's kind of what I've designed here is a very simple rig, inexpensive and very efficient in terms of electricity as well with really good performance actually. So if you take a look at it here, so you see that the first thing that uh, comes up is the graphics card. Now you notice that there might be two and there's a reason for that. The one on the left is a discounted one right now. It has some kind of rebate. So it's like $230 for a GTX 1060, which is a really good price. So that one is the one that I highly recommend, but because the price is so low, I guarantee it's gonna sell out very quickly, so definitely get on it as quickly as you can. And the one to the right of it is kind of a backup just in case the one uh, ends up selling out. It's a little bit more expensive. Uh, it is a smaller form factor, which could be a benefit, but because the price is a little bit higher, it'll likely be in stock for a while longer, but uh, the performance isn't any different there. And the GTX 1060 is the card of choice due to its profitability. It is relatively inexpensive at about $250 to $270, depending on where you get it. It doesn't really take a lot of power to run, about 65 to 70 watts, which is relatively low for a card that's going to be, you know, at full bore all the time. It doesn't put out a lot of heat, so it's not really going to heat up your room as much as some of the AMD cards might. And it is, again, as you can see, relatively small cards. That way, uh, if you end up having multiple of these, it's not going to take up a lot of space, which is really kind of convenient. To the right of that, we have an 8 gigabyte stick of RAM. The reason I chose 8 instead of 16 or 4 is that Windows does take a decent amount to run. And if you're looking to add multiple cards in the future, the eight gigabytes will allow you to uh, have the efficient virtualization features that some of the mining programs offer. So having that eight gigabytes will allow you to run those multiple cards in the future if you choose to upgrade. And then 16 would just be a little bit overkill. And since RAM is so expensive, I didn't see any reason to spend extra money in areas that wouldn't really change anything. And going down a little bit further, we have the SATA cable, which is going to allow you to connect the hard drive to the motherboard because you need something to interface those two. It's like $3, just kind of a standard component there. To the right of that, we have the Intel Pentium processor, which again, I mentioned really sips power compared to something like an i7 or a Xeon or something like that. Since we're not mining with the processor, we really don't need a very powerful processor. It really just needs to monitor the mining program and run Windows, and that's really about it. So the Pentium is more than capable of that. It's a dual core hyperthreaded processor with a very low TDP, which means that it's not going to use a lot of electricity or output a lot of heat, which is exactly what we're looking for. On the far right, we have the uh, MSI motherboard. The cool thing about this is not only does it have the socket for a Pentium processor, it's got a fair amount of ports. It does have a full length PCI slot for the graphics card. But the reason that I chose this one over some other ones is that it has two extra PCIe 1X slots. So if you want to actually add two more graphics cards, you have the opportunity to do so through an adapter riser card that you can find for like six bucks on Newegg. So this allows you to have an upgrade path in the future if you wanna add more graphics cards instead of being kind of locked down and required to buy another motherboard in the future if you got one that only had one slot. So it's no more expensive than the other options and it actually has some few extra features so that way 
Uh, you're not stuck with one setup, you have options. Further down, we have two more items. We have the 500 gigabyte hard drive. If you guys want to update to a solid state drive, maybe like 120 gigabyte or 240 gigabyte, that is also an option because they are a little bit more efficient in terms of power because they don't have to be spinning all the time. It is kind of negligible, but it, you know, if you're looking to really minimize the amount of electricity draw, that is definitely a good option. Plus they are a little bit faster, but uh, at the price that this 500 gigabyte hard drive is under 20 bucks. Uh, I think it's more than reasonable to kind of accept the little bit of extra power draw that it might have. And speaking of power, to the right of that, we have the EVGA 450 watt power supply, which has plenty of connectors. It's efficient and has a warranty. So if anything happens, you're covered. It has enough wattage to be able to power every single component in the system and with a lot of headroom left so you can actually add other components in the future. And speaking of warranty, that's the main reason why I have all these components listed new. If you guys want to look on eBay for maybe used components, that's definitely an option. But again, you're not going to be able to, you know, call the manufacturer if something goes wrong. Getting these parts all new does kind of give you a little bit of peace of mind just in case something happens. You have that warranty to back you up there, which is uh, definitely a plus. So if we come over to the Crypto Compare website, we can kind of use this calculator to get a better idea of what our profit is going to be like. So I have put in the 500 hashes per second from our GTX 1060. We can assume that the total system will probably be taking about 80 watts of power. I think power here is about 15 cents per kilowatt hour. And there's a little bit of a pool fee, uh, which is a small chunk of your profit that the mining pool will take uh, just so that it can run its servers and things like that. And now this number is definitely a little bit off because the current price of Monero isn't up to date yet. It's 532 and this is saying 411. So this will likely be closer to 50 to $60 a month. So that means you're looking at about a little under eight months uh, at the current value of Monero to make back your money. But realistically, since Monero, as we can see in just today, went up 24%. Uh, as that keeps going up, there's going to likely be even more profit to be made with the system. So the system's going to become more profitable as that price keeps increasing, meaning that you're going to make your money back even faster. Right now, uh, I think that's a pretty reasonable time for a $500 system. You know, you could spend more and get an extra graphics card, and that'll probably have the amount of time that it takes to make your money back. But right now, for a reasonable amount of money to get into this, I think that's a really good profit margin. So if you guys have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. If you guys want a little bit more information, uh, I am going to be making a second video about setting up the software side of this. So setting up the mining program, setting up a wallet, setting up the mining pool, all that kind of stuff is going to be in the next video. This is more dedicated to the hardware part of it. But once we get into that, uh, there'll be some more technical stuff I'll get into. But uh, any hardware related questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you guys. But that's it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.